My News 26. I'm Marlena Scarborough, and today we're in Beulah at the Benzie County Animal Shelter speaking with Doreen Carter, the president of the Animal Welfare League. Doreen, can you tell us a little bit about what the Animal Welfare League is? Uh, yes, we're a nonprofit organization, and our biggest focus is on spay and neuters. We also assist the Benzie County Animal Shelter with adoptions and food drives and any other medical expenses they may need or building ex expenses. So that's one of the reasons why we're at the shelter is because you are in correlation and kind of help out the shelter, adopt these animals, give them a really nice forever home. Correct. And so some of the services that you provide, like you just mentioned, are spay and neutering. Can you tell us about that process? Yes. What happens is if you're a Benzie County resident, you can come in and you can get a spay and neuter certificate through us by filling out a prevent a litter application. And usually it's a pretty simple application to fill out. Uh, not too much going on with that. We just go over there and you fill it out. We have our board review it and then usually get approved. And then we assist you with your spay and neuters for your animals. That's one of our big biggest things and with that we know that it's working and the reason we know it's working is because or our organization has done this for 40 years already and over the course of the 40 years we've seen a decline in animals that have been coming to the shelters mm -hmm. and with that uh, the past three years I would say we haven't had any litters of puppies here mm -hmm. which is a really big improvement so for all the organizations that are out there that are doing spay and neuters, don't be discouraged, keep fo focusing on what you're doing, move forward, and it, you will see an impact. And that is really, really great, you know, to hear and that you're really for spay and neutering these animals and helping the people out in the community, which is fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. And so you have a food drive that kind of happens throughout the year, but it's not a food drive that you and I might think about, okay, you're just going to bring canned goods and everything, but you're looking for what specifically? We look mostly for dry foods for dogs, cats. We also look for the wet foods um, because we do give it to them as a treat every day because they're here in the kennels and it's their little special treat that they get to have. And then we also look for things like cat litter because on any given day, we can go through 50 pounds of cat litter in a day. And so we go through a lot of that as well. Uh, when we have the spring season and we get the kittens in, then we do go through a lot more mm -hmm. of the kitten chows. Right. But yes, they do need to eat and we do have a very limited budget here at the county shelter. So with that limited budget, they do rely on the Animal Welfare League and the people of our community to donate food right. throughout the year. So people can come in, even when you're not running the uh, food drive, People can come in and they can just donate any kind of food that they want, help you guys out in any way, correct? Correct. That's what happens. And we do have a barrel at the front of the building, so even if it's after hours, it's a closed barrel, they can put it in the barrel and then we pick it up first thing in the morning. And that's a really wonderful way people can come out, help out the community, help out the pets, and just provide a really happy environment for these animals. Correct. That's what we try to do, keep them as happy mm -hmm. as they can until they get their forever homes. So speaking of forever homes, how long does it usually take, you know, the adoption process that the Animal Welfare League helps out with? Well, with the adoption process, that's actually handled through the county because we work in correlation with the county. Mm -hmm. And we come in on Saturdays and we help assist for those people who can't make it here during the week to try to find that pet that they want to adopt. Mm -hmm. But the county, what it is, is you just fill out the pre-application. If everything looks good, they might have a few questions for you. And then you can be taking your pet home, your new pet home today. And that's awesome because these animals would love to go home to a really happy, wonderful, warm home with really loving fur parents, if you want to say that. Correct. Yeah. So usually how many animals do you see in a year that maybe get adopted out or that just come to the shelter? Um, I would say that in dogs, we're probably around uh, two to three hundred and cats just a little less than that. Wow. So that's quite a bit of animals that you're trying to help adopt and everything. Correct. And besides our adoptions here at the shelter, the Animal Welfare League also assists in finding those lost pets yeah. to get them back home too because we have a really big impact on uh, the social media with Facebook. And if by chance an animal is lost, we take a photo of it right away, put it on Facebook, gets published out there, circulated through everybody and they like us and then we usually can get that dog 
or cat back home within mm-hmm. sometimes a few hours, yeah. sometimes, you know, within a day. Yeah, and that's awesome. Thank you so much for telling us all about this. And if people want to find you, they can just go onto Facebook. And that is wonderful. Thank you. Yes, just like us on Animal Welfare League of Benzie County. Thank you so much. Thank you. In Beulah at the Benzie County Animal Shelter with My News 26, I'm Marlena Scarborough.